In solving equations, we use the same basic operations we used in arithmetic, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. The meanings of the sign plus, minus, times, and divided by are still the same. Equations have a few fundamental designations, however, that we must learn. Multiplication of 5 times y, for example, may be written as 5xy, 5 dot y, 5 with the y in parentheses, or simply 5y. The number 5 in the term 5y is known as the coefficient of the term. In cases in which there is no numerical coefficient written, such as w, the coefficient is understood to be a 1, therefore 1w equals w. Division in equations is indicated by the fraction bar. For example, the term 5 divided by y would be written as follows. It is important to remember that an equation is a statement of equality. To solve the equation, we must move or transpose all the unknowns to one side and all the knowns to the other. We accomplish this by performing the same operation on both sides of the equation. By doing the same thing on both sides of the equation, we create a new equation that has the same solution as the original. It's customary for the unknowns to be on the left side and the knowns to be on the right side, such as x equals 7. Transposing involves the use of inverse or opposite operations. To transpose a term in an equation, note the operation indicated and apply the opposite operation to both sides of the equation as follows. If the operation indicated is addition, use subtraction. If it's subtraction, use addition. If it's multiplication, use division. And if it's division, use multiplication. Here are the steps for solving equations and proving the solution. Step 1. Transpose all the unknowns to the left side of the equation and all the knowns to the right side of the equation by using the following operation order for solving equations. Parentheses, if any, must be cleared before any other operations are performed. To clear parentheses, multiply the coefficient by each term inside the parentheses. So, if our equation is 3 parentheses 5c plus 4 equals 2, then we convert 3 parentheses 5c plus 3 times 4 to equal 2. So, 15c plus 12 equals 2. To solve equations with more than one operation, first apply opposite operations using additions and subtractions. Then apply opposite operations using multiplication and division. Step 2. Prove the solution by substituting your answer for the letter or letters in the original equation. If the left and right sides are equal, the equation is true and your answer is correct. Remember, an equation is a statement of equality. The left side must equal the right side for the equation to be true. The word equation, in fact, is derived from the word equal. Let's use an example. Solve the equation x plus 4 equals 15 and prove the solution. The equation x plus 4 equals 15 indicates addition plus 4. To solve for the x, apply the opposite operation, subtraction. Subtract 4 from each side. Now for proof. The solution can be easily proven by substituting our answer, 11, for the letter or letters in the original equation. If the left and right sides are equal, the equation is true and the solution is correct. So if x plus 4 equals 15, and 11 plus 4 equals 15, 15 equals 15, and the equation is true.